Good morning and welcome to Wayne's Lock Shop and locksmithreference.com. Make sure that you download that Re Locksmith Reference app so it can help you throughout your Alrighty, day. Alrighty, so we're going to go over some electronic access stuff today. This location right here needs to have a camera that the customer can view from their phone. So one of the easiest ways to do that is the Ring device right here. It's very common, it's available at almost every hardware store. You can get them online, I think they're about 200 bucks. Here's where the details come into play. This needs a Wi-Fi system in order to operate off of so that it can upload images to the cloud and then send them back down to your phone. It will store all of the motions there. If you wanna have phone access, you have to decide what you want with your electronic access and cameras. Do you want a hardcore DVR system which is not connected to the internet? Do you want a hybrid of both where you have a DVR system that you can access remotely from the internet? Or do you want to have a system that's completely cloud-based and no DVR system? This is a no DVR system. Like I said, this thing is about 200 bucks. It provides light. It goes directly into the existing uh, voltage right there. So you'll actually, this wires directly right into that light there. It'll provide LED lights and it'll provide a camera along with sirens, speaker, and many more things. Going back to the internet part, if you choose to do this, you have to have some kind of internet in order to run the system. There is no internet here. Uh, if we were to install internet here, this is an unmanned shop and an unmanned location. In order to provide internet service or Wi-Fi service here, it was gonna be $148 a month. That is very expensive simply to have one camera running. That's all that this is going to be doing. We're not going to be running computers. We don't need a phone line. We contacted the internet company and it comes with these business packages, but they're very, very expensive to run. So instead of $148 a month, plus the cost of this, plus the ring device, plus the protection plan and blah, 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 blah. This thing is going to cost 250 bucks or $200 a month to, to operate if you do all that. Here is a Verizon Jetpack. Now, I'm sure all the other companies probably offer their own similar version, but this is gonna provide you enough Wi-Fi to run this camera. If you're gonna be running three, two, three, four cameras, probably not gonna be enough. You probably need a Jetpack for each individual one or two of them, depending on the signal. However, for this case, in this application right here, this will work just fine. Here's how we get started. I'll show you how to install and hook it up to the system. Alrighty, so when you open the box, it's going to come with pretty much everything that you need to install this right off of the bat. Uh, we'll just go through the instruction folder here and kind of give you an overview of what we're going to be doing. If you need to hire a licensed electrician, you may need to do so in order to hook this up, simply because you're going to be dealing with 110 or 120 volt power. In that case, it can shock you, it can kill you. Don't try this at home. You have been warned. Okay. You will need to make sure there is a light switch on this one so the light switch is off and then the breaker is also going to be turned off. We're double ensuring that there is no way that there is any power going to that as it's being connected. So you'll be able to see right here how the instructions go. <clears throat> Before you begin, you're going to get the little screwdriver, the Phillips head bit, and the mounting bracket. Those are all inside the box, so very easy to find. You have your wiring nuts your screw caps and your hook, bag of screws, and this is how it's all going to fit together. Your wires are gonna come through, they're gonna go through the uh, bracket screw plate, there's your mounting screws, and they're gonna come through, hook up here, and then your wiring or your the camera and floodlight will screw directly onto that. They send connectors and everything with it, so you have everything you need. You shouldn't need to make any trips to the hardware store unless something is off. If your wiring doesn't look good, walk away from it. Again, hire a licensed electrician. That is going to be a valuable, valuable lesson to have. All right. Uh, installation. If you mount it nine feet off the ground, the motion detector panel will go 30 feet away from the camera so your motion it's not going to be a constant recording it's not going to be 24 7 recording it's only going to record when there's actual motion detected dogs squirrels cats people you can set and adjust how sensitive you want it to be 
but just be aware that that's how it's going to operate. It is not 24-hour surveillance. So, okay, shut off the power at the breaker. Shut it off at the switch if you have a switch. Shut it off at the breaker if you have a breaker. It will kill you, okay? Don't take that lightly. So, make sure that everything is properly grounded. Again, you're going to be going to your electrician for all of that stuff. Uh, Let's see here. We'll just follow the motions, go through the steps, and see how it works out. One of the nice things about the Ring camera installation system is it does come with pretty much everything you're going to need. This little orange-handled screwdriver I have in my hand both serves as a Phillips head screwdriver, and there's another bit on the other side so that you can operate, tighten, loosen, and install any of the fasteners that were installed. Here... We are taking the mounting ring and mounting the actual mounting ring to the holder that's actually part of the lighting fixture. So that's the first thing you're going to do is you've actually got some screws that you actually need to mount that to your lighting fixture. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you hire a licensed legitimate electrician whenever you're encountering these kinds of voltage. So you want to make sure that if you're dealing with 120 power or um, just home power in general, you want to have somebody licensed who knows what they're doing to make the proper connections, make sure everything is turned off, and safety, safety, safety. So now that we've got the wires all hooked up, the positive to positive, negative to negative, neutral to neutral, and got all those connections nice and tight. You can see that I'm stuffing them back into the container and the lighting fixture. And one more thing that that little orange handled screwdriver does is if you actually remove the bit out of it, it actually is a nut driver now, and it actually drives the nut that mounts the actual light to the housing and fixture. So those two little nuts right there, that's exactly what that does. Right, and now it it's been successfully installed and it's ready to go. I intentionally wanted this to be a darker color. I want people to know that we have this here. Uh, there's also a sticker on the door. We'll put it on the door there. I want people to know that they are on camera. Half of having a camera and having motion activated lights are that it, all of it is psychological so if people know they're on camera they're probably going to behave a lot better uh, it's a deterrent first it's secondary it'll catch whatever's going on if you need to prove that later in court or catch people or do whatever it is you're trying to do you'll be able to do that but the first step in my opinion is there's two different methodologies to it one is that you can secretly catch people uh, I would prefer to not have anything happen in the first place. So for this one, we're going to put the stickers up. I wanted it to be a different color. Um, once it's wired up. Alrighty, so now that we've got it all hooked up, um, I decided to run a little bead of silicone or caulking around the top. You always want to make sure that there's a little hole at the bottom. You can run a bead around, just kind of helps seal the weather moisture, things like that out, dirt, dust, bugs, anything, pests, rodents, anything that's going to get in there. Um, you can help seal that up. There is a piece of foam in there, so when you bring them together, it does kind of help seal that out that way. Just make sure that there's always a little drain hole in the bottom. There is an indication on there that there is a drain hole on the foam. Uh, for water to get out, you don't want to make a pool. Uh, then we turn the light back on, go turn, or I'm sorry, turn the breaker back on, then turn the light switch back on. I put that uh, light switch in a permanent on position. We just tape it up with some, you can use whatever you want to use, or you can use these stickers. Uh, I just use a white piece of Gorilla Tape and then it just tapes that switch off. Nobody accidentally turns it off. Uh, that's up to you how you want to do that based on how it looks and what your customer wants. Here, it's an empty shop not a big deal. As soon as you flick it on, that light starts flashing and it says welcome to ring. Go through your phone app and set everything up. Uh, it's very easy. You quick start, download the ring app by visiting ring.com slash app on your tablet. Then you select a device, you set up an account, select flood cam, uh, and follow the instructions in the app. It's basically just going to walk you through 
getting the device to talk to the Wi-Fi and getting the Wi-Fi to talk to your phone so that you can access it. And I can't videotape that right now because we're using the, the phone for the camera, but I'll try and take some screenshots or whatever I can of it and uh, post that so you can see. But for the most part, the hard work is done. Now you just need to hook it up to the system, get it logged onto Wi-Fi, get, it, get the app on your phone, and you are ready to go. Now that you have the actual physical device installed, you go to the Ring app on your app store and set up a device is what you're going to select. You then choose the security camera that you're installing and you want to connect and you give it permission. You give it the allow button, go ahead and click allow and then it'll come up with a QR scanner. You can scan it. This is a speed cutting shortcut process. Now you would say you just answer the prompts as it goes along. Uh, you just simply fill out the information as it's registered and go from there. You can name the camera. Now it says that, is, has your camera been installed? The answer would be yes. Then it'll ask you if the light, light is flashing on the bottom. The answer is yes. Then it'll ask you which Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. Uh, this one's actually going to connect to a jetpack because it doesn't have any other Wi-Fi here. And that was the least expensive way to go. Then you're going to be restoring your phone connection. You're going to do a snapshot capture and success. Now we have everything all set up and ready to go. You can then opt to choose a ring protection plan. And here's what the camera looks like videotaping me after I'm done installing it. This is what the app looks like as you pull it up. So you can select live view, you can select lights, motion alerts, and you can actually set the camera the way that you want it. I personally recommend the ring protection plans. It's a hundred bucks a month. If you have a problem, I believe that they just send you a new unit. I've had to have one replaced, no questions asked. They just sent a new unit out and it seemed to be well worth the money. Now, you can check your plan, you can do a basic plan, you can do a Protection Plus plan. I found for the 100 bucks, it was very well worth it. Here we've got Ring Protection Plus on this device. Here is some of the different options. You can activate a siren to scare people off. And that is what your actual video looks like, both light and night. There's a night footage right there. And once again, make sure you download that Locksmith Reference app so you can access videos, how-to videos, and instructional videos, and informational videos just like this one here. Go to Locksmith Reference, go to your Google Play Store or your iPhone Store, Apple Play Store, and download the app today. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to...